Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. This is Denise Margaret. This is going to be your weekend read, the next 72 hours, what's coming. So let's go ahead and get started. I do offer personal readings. Information for me is listed down below. I'd be happy to help. Also, I wanted to go ahead and give you the information. Some of you keep asking if I'm selling my oils on Etsy. I'm not. But my good friend Rhonda has been selling for over 20 years. So I'm going to go ahead and put her link down below. So Moonworks Apothecary. Okay, and it's on Etsy. It's beautiful. She's been here for over 20 years. Very authentic. I've already sent some of you over there, and she's absolutely fabulous. She has spell oils, potion oils, beeswax, chime candles. She has herbs, roots, salts, wash, floor washes, waters. There's a lot of supplies there. She does quite a bit, okay? So go ahead and take a look at the link down below if you're looking for some authentic essential oils, magical oils, spell oils, whatever it is that you need, okay? Okay. She's got quite a bit. There is over 171 items in that shop. Please go look at that shop. Okay, That's where you're going to get your wonderful oils at and spiritual practice supplies. Let's get started. Let's take a look here at the next 72 hours. What's coming for all of us here? What is coming for all of us here in the next 72 hours? Boy, it's been a wicked week. I've been busy. Um, yeah, it's it's great, but yeah, it's been, been a crazy week. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, next 72 hours. Okay, we have the Three of Swords. We're going to break it down in just a minute. We have the Death card. Okay, so there is something major. Shift and change makes sense. We've got that eclipse coming up on Monday the 8th. Okay, High Priestess with the Secrets here are holding the Torah, holding the knowledge here. Justice is here on your side. You have options, planting seeds with the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to break it down in just a second here. Okay, what else do we have? We're also going to get an Animal card, Animal Wisdom card at the end here. And we also have the Page of Swords. Okay, so we, uh, oh, they said pull one more, so I did. We end up with the Ace of Swords. Okay, there's a lot of swords, analytical thinking, um, racking your brain too much, overthinking. So for some of you, there is something that you're contemplating, you've been thinking about for a while, should I let this go, should I let this person and or situation go, job go, whatever. And there's something here that you're really going to make your mind up, especially with this eclipse coming on the 8th, okay, on Monday. It's going to clip something out, literally, but it's also going to bring in quite a bit of prosperity, success, and abundance to you. So... You do have something coming in that you're thinking about here very clearly, okay? And justice is on your side. Things are going to be made right, okay? But you do have an ending, and you're going to think about that ending. It's going to be very prominent. You're letting something go. You have to, right? You're planting seeds here with the Seven of Pentacles because you're trying to create something to manifest something better for you. The Page of Swords, it could be around a child or some type of uh, young person, or they could be immature, and you're letting that go too because they don't match your vibration. But some of you could be dealing with a child could be moving out of the house. A child could be at a distance right now. And, you know, maybe the child, for some of you, there's a secret here, okay, that they're not sharing everything. And they're very disappointed about something, and they just need to go on their own path, their own journey. That's for some. Just let them go. They're going to be okay. For others, it's something that you're letting go so that you can manifest something bigger. You've had a secret here. You're holding scripture here with the high priestess. So you're not letting something out of the bag, okay? And it's very prominent. You're quite successful anyways with the Ace of Swords. Aces are a 30-day window for me anyways as an intuitive read. So this is telling me you have a lot of progress, a lot of success. You're seeing things very clearly. Something is your aha moment over the next 72 hours. You will have a new relationship with yourself. You're actually going to have a new relationship with business. Some of you are really thinking about what can I do to make more money? What can I actually do to bring in something that's going to be consistent and sustainable? You're going to have a fabulous time this weekend because there's a lot coming to you. You just need to get up out of your head and let it flow. Go with the flow of the universe. Don't force it. Don't chase it. Just let it go. But there is something that with the Seven of Pentacles, you are planting the seeds here. It's coming. This person that you're wanting to come to, you're trying to manifest a lover for some of you it is just get out of the way and let universe put it together for you be specific get your pen and your piece of paper 97.2 percent law of attraction scientifically proven when you write something down on a piece of paper and then you speak it into existence and you read it over and over you manifest much quicker okay so there is something here that has been heartbroken disappointed here but that is going away because you have all of this beautifulness coming in okay and you could be reminiscing about the past or somebody from your past as well so let's go ahead and take a look at some animal oracle cards and let's see what we can get for you here for the next 72 hours 
You are going to be thinking about a new relationship. There is somebody coming in from a distance for some of you in a love relationship. And there is going to be something that you're either going to do on your own business-wise or you're going to think about an offer. And next week for you, the week of the 8th, is going to be great because there's a lot of prosperity, success. Things are changing, okay? You see things very clearly. We just said that here. It's divinely sent here for you, okay? You need time to heal. Think about it. You're overthinking some certain situations here. You're shedding the old so the new can come in. And spirit has a plan for you. Isn't that fabulous? You really are. A lot of prosperity, success, celebrations, challenges, and changes. But you know what? Spirit's got your back, and you're going into a new world of happiness in the next 72 hours. Take care.